Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking through a couple of my favorite MLB props for today. Uh, for Tuesday, June the 7th, we do have a big MLB slate on Tuesday. Wanted to get out a video, uh, share some plays I like for today. And I did find three props that I like taking a first look at the board on uh, Monday night. We'll talk through these three plays. We will share why I like them um, like we always do. Before we get started, though, I do want to recap our plays from Friday, which was the last time I made an MLB video. And on Friday, we did go 2-1, and one, so um, once again, we had another 2-1 and one day. We're 4-2 and two on our MLB props so far this season. Um, in, our, in our three plays on, that we gave out on Friday, the two plays that we did hit were the over on Nathan Eovaldi's fancy points. Um, good matchup for him against the Athletics, and he crushed. I think he had like... God, I want to say he had like over 50 fancy points. He had, he, I think he pitched like six innings, had eight strikeouts, got the win, got the quality start. Um, really good start from Avaldi, and then we also hit the over on uh, five and a half strikeouts for Shane Bieber. Bieber had a great start. I think he had 11 strikeouts Friday night against the Orioles. Both those plays hit. Sadly, though, the one prop that didn't hit was the over on Merrill Kelly's fancy points. Um, and I think he finished with like 21, and he needed, I think he needed like 29 to go over. Um, it was a good matchup against the Pirates. I will continue to bet pitchers going up against the Pirates. Like the Pirates are just not a good offense. Um, they're going to be a team I pick on a lot this season with you know, with taking pitchers props against Pittsburgh whenever the whenever the line's right. And I did like that line for Merrill Kelly Friday. I thought his projection was a few points too low. He didn't have the best start though. I think he only got like three or four strikeouts. He gave up a couple runs. His pitch count got you know pretty high. Like he didn't really p- pitch too deep into the game. I think he only went five innings. Um, so yeah. Tough night there, um, getting you know not or missing out on a clean sweep once again. We've you know back to back days in MLB. We've gone two and one, but you know still not bad. Four and two on our six MLB plays so far this season. Uh, but yeah, let's talk through the the three plays I like for today, guys. Just real quick, again, hit that like button. Always appreciate you guys checking out these videos every day. Hit that subscribe button as well if you are new here. Uh, gonna try and upload MLB videos as much as I can. You know now that the NBA season is winding down. Obviously, on the days where we have NBA, I will still cover NBA. Um, and obviously on the on Wednesday we have you know game three of the finals. I'll definitely have a video up for uh, for game three of the finals, covering some props I like for for that game. But on the days that we don't have any NBA, I'm going to try and get some MLB videos up. I know I didn't make a video Monday, um, but you know, at least on the days, especially on the days where we have bigger slates and we have a lot of games, I definitely want to try and upload some MLB. So hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Also, if you're new to Prize Picks, you can check them out and sign up with my promo code, uh, promo code NOAH. Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. And Prize Picks offers a ton of MLB props. So if you're someone that likes to dabble into MLB, they offer a lot of props that some of the other books don't offer. And right now, they don't even have all their props up. And you can see all they have already posted as of Monday night. You have strikeouts. They got the first inning props, pitching outs, uh, pitcher fan score, pitches thrown, which is a prop that I know a lot of other books don't offer. They got hitter fan score, total bases, hits plus walks, runs plus runs plus RBIs, and they'll even add some more props as we get closer to you know the start of all the games Tuesday night. Um, but yeah, prospects definitely check them out. Sign up, use promo code NOAA. Uh, prospects will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. But talking through my three plays for today, we're going to start off in the pitching outs category. Going to go down to the bottom, and I'm taking uh, Herman Marquez over 17 and a half pitching outs. So basically, in order for Marquez to hit this prop, he needs to pitch six innings. And over his last five starts, Marquez has gone six innings in four out of his last five starts. And his pitch count's also been pretty good. Like, the Rockies have let Marquez pitch pretty deep into games. Um, He's thrown at least 90 pitches in four of those five starts. Uh, Two of his last three starts, he's he's thrown over 100 pitches. So, he has a pretty long leash. Um, He can throw, you know, 95 to 100 pitches, especially if he's pitching well. Even some of these starts, like, so two starts ago when he faced Washington, he got beat up pretty bad. He gave up six hits, gave up five runs, had three walks. The Rockies still let him go six innings and let him throw 104 pitches. So the matchup today against San Francisco, like the Giants, I mean, they're a solid offense. They, you know, in, in terms of their splits versus right-handed pitching this season, in terms of like strikeout rate, I mean, they're about middle of the pack. They have a uh, 21.9% K rate. In terms of like batting average versus righties, I mean, the Giants are solid. They got a 246 batting average, which puts them a little bit ahead of, you know, kind of middle of the pack. On base percentage, um, you know, I think in terms of on base percentage, they are solid. They're fifth in on base percentage, uh, 326 on base on base percentage. But what makes me like this prop is just that Marquez does have a long leash. He will he will pitch deep into games if he's pitching well. 
And even some of these starts where he's not pitching too well, like maybe he's getting hit up a little bit. Again, like the Rockies will still let him go deep. Um, he gave up 11 hits to the Mets. He gave up four runs against the Mets. Rockies still let him pitch six innings, and he threw, he threw 102 pitches that start. Last start against Miami, he gave up seven hits, six runs, three walks. He still threw 75 pitches through five innings. So he's got a long leash. He can definitely go six innings if he's even pitching remotely well. If he does get beat up, then maybe there's a chance he doesn't go six innings. But you know, the Giants offense, I mean, again, like I said, they're a solid team, but they're not too scary of an offense. I mean, there are kind of some easy outs in this offense, especially towards the bottom of that lineup. I do worry about some of those guys at the top of the lineup. You know, Jock Peterson's got power. Mike Estramsi's got power. Tommy LaStella, he'll, you know, battle and put the ball in play. Doesn't strike out much. There aren't really, you know, a ton of strikeouts in this lineup, but we don't really care about strikeouts. We just want, you know, Marquez to be able to get through innings quickly. Hopefully he can go six innings for us. And I do like getting this line at 17 and a half. I think this line, if, if this line was 18, I wouldn't like it as much just because I think there's a good chance Marquez goes six innings, finishes with 18 outs, and at that at that point you're kind of playing for a push. It always is appealing to get, you know, get lines at the hook because on, you know, for MLB there's no there's no half, you know, projections or anything. Or you, a guys can't finish with half of a of, of an out or half of a strikeout. So anytime you can get props on the hook, you know, in in it's in your favor, it's always going to look to be appealing. And I do like getting this line at 17 and a half versus 18, just because I think there is a good chance that Marquez finishes with 18 outs um, and probably you know doesn't go past the sixth inning. Maybe he does. I think he has made one start this year. Uh, actually, his first start of the season against the Dodgers, he did go seven innings, but he's gone six innings, and it looks like. Um, I think six starts this year. Um, he's gone at six innings and at least six starts, um, six out of 10 starts, I do believe. So I like this one. I'm taking over 17 and a half outs for Herman Marquez, just hoping he can pitch six innings. And due to his pitch count lately, you know, how many pitches the Rockies have let him go, uh, how, how many pitches the, uh, the Rockies have let him throw, I should say, um, I, I think he's got a good chance to go six innings and hit this prop. So that's going to be our first play for today. And then our other two props are both going to be strikeout props. So for the first guy, I'm taking Tariq Skubal. Um, I think that's how you say his last name. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm taking him over five and a half strikeouts. Great matchup here against the Pirates, and I know you know we took the over on Merrill Kelly's fancy score on Friday versus Pittsburgh, and it didn't hit, and you know that was the reason we lost out on our clean sweep. But I still like this matchup. The Pirates are just not a good offense. You can look at where they rank versus left-handed pitching. They still have a very high K rate. They're top 10 in K rate this season. 23.3% K rate versus lefties on the year. And Tariq Skubal has been a good strikeout pitcher this season. You can see where he ranks in terms of K, per, uh, K rate, K percentage. Very solid. You know, he's 74th percentile in K rate. I'm pretty sure this season he's got, yeah, he's got a 26.4% strikeout rate on the year. He's getting a good amount of swings and misses, which is, you know, always something you want to look for. Like he can get guys to chase. And, you know, the Pirates, like I said, they, they have a solid, you know, pretty high K rate versus uh, left-handed pitching. They're top 10 in strikeout rate. This offense is just not a team I'm scared of. There are definitely plenty of strikeouts in this lineup. I mean, you look at their lineup for tomorrow. Like some of these guys, I said this in my video on Friday, like some of these Pirates hitters I've literally never heard of. And I follow baseball you know, somewhat closely, and some of these guys I've never heard of. So I, I think it's a good spot for Tariq Skubal. I think he should be able to pitch pretty well here, should be able to get through this uh, Pirates lineup you know, with relatively, relatively easily, and hopefully he can get six strikeouts. And with you know where the Pirates rank in terms of K rate this year versus lefties, I think that should be pretty doable. Um, and Tariq Skubal, I think, has gotten six strikeouts. I think he's made 10 starts this year. I think he's gotten six strikeouts and six out of 10 starts. Um, he had one start against Kansas City. He got seven strikeouts, got six strikeouts against Colorado, nine against Houston, had one start against Baltimore where he, ra where he racked up 11 strikeouts, and then he did have a start against Minnesota where he got six K. So actually, five out of 10 starts, Tariq Skubal has gotten you know at least six strikeouts. But the starts where he did not get six strikeouts, he finished with five, 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 four, and three. Um, his first start of the season was when he finished with three three strikeouts, and that was, you know, first start of the year. Guys are going to be a little bit rusty. They're not going to pitch as deep into the game. But, like, a lot of the starts this season where he's not gotten six Ks, he's finished with five. So he's finished right around that number. I like getting this line at five and a half. I think this line should be six, maybe six and a half. I think Scooball should be able to rack up some strikeouts against this Pirates lineup. They do K versus left-handed pitching. And Scoball has shown, you know, good strikeout stuff this season. Um, so I do like him over five and a half strikeouts as our second play for today. And then our third and final play, again, another strikeout prop going to Kyle Wright. And I'm taking over five and a half strikeouts for Kyle Wright. So this is just kind of a another matchup play. Uh, the athletics this season, I mean, God, we talked about it in Friday's video when we took the over on Nathan, Nathan Eovaldi's fancy score. 
the Athletics are just a bad offense, man. They don't have a ton of good hitters. They're a team you can easily run through. Um, you, you can easily mow down. And I think Kyle Wright should have plenty of success against this Athletics lineup. They have just a 3.4 implied run total for today. And there are plenty of strikeouts in this A's lineup. If you look at where the A's rank versus right-handed pitching this season in terms of strikeout rate, um, they have the 24.4% K rate, which is seventh highest in the league. So they're top 10 in strikeout rate versus righties this year. And Kyle Wright's another guy that's been striking out a lot of guys this season. He's ranked 77th percentile in K percentage. Um, his strikeout rate on the year is 27.5%. He's really upped his strikeout stuff this season. I don't know what's really changed for Kyle Wright, but as you can see, like in 2018, uh, he had a 17% K rate, then 19% in 2019. 17% in 2020, and uh, 2021, he had a 17% K rate. This year, though, I don't know what's changed, but Kyle Wright has a 27.5% K rate this season. Um, he's got a lot of good stats. Like, he's got good spin on his, you know, secondary pitches. Fastball, uh, fastball velocity is good. His fastball spins very good. Whip percentage is really good. Um, that's something we like to see. We want him to be able to get swings and misses. Basically, when you're looking at these, uh, percentile rankings red is good and blue is bad and you know as you can see Kyle Wright has a lot of red here which is the easiest way to put it um I'm not a guy that gets too into the you know the the advanced metrics and the you know advanced analytics I'm not a big stats guy but you can see that Kyle Wright has had a good year so far this year he's been pitching really well matchup here against the athletics is really good the athletics will strike out quite a bit and I think Kyle Wright can get us six strikeouts here. And I do want to pull up his game log as well and see how many games he's gotten six strikeouts or more this season. I think he's gotten at least six Ks in six out of ten starts. But don't, you know, I'm going to pull it up just to confirm. So one, it looks like one, two, th so one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, six starts this year. Six out of ten starts, he's gotten at least six strikeouts. Had six Ks against Cincinnati, nine against San Diego. He had 11 strikeouts against Miami, eight against the Cubs nine against the Padres, and six when he faced Miami again. The starts where he did not get five, or where he did not get six strikeouts, two, last two starts, he's finished with five Ks against Arizona and against Philly. Um, against Boston, he got beat up a little bit, gave up six runs, only had four strikeouts. And then against the Mets, he did pitch seven innings, um, but only got three Ks against the Mets. But the Mets have had a pretty low K rate this season. Obviously, Oakland, they're a team that will strike out. And again, Kyle Wright, has shown good strikeout stuff this year. I think the matchup sets up really well for him, and I think he'll be able to get a 6K today. So these are my three plays for MLB today. Um, Herman Marquez taking over 17 and a half pitching outs for him. Basically just need him to pitch six innings. Therese Schoolball taking over five and a half strikeouts, and we're taking Kyle Wright over five and a half strikeouts as well. So that's what I'm rolling for MLB today, guys. It's a big, big slate. Um, usually on Tuesdays, there's always going to be a lot of MLB games. I think it's like, I want to say it was like 12 or 13 games. Might honestly be more than that. Um, can't remember, but... So what I'm liking for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it did, uh, did help. Again, we're 4-2 and two on our MLB props so far this season. Hopefully we can get a clean sweep tonight, hit all three of our plays. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button before you, uh, before you do get out of here. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. Also, go check out Prize Picks. Sign up for Prize Picks. Use promo code NOAA uh, when you do, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. Uh, you can tell the picks I gave out in this video. You can make some other picks for yourself. Check out all the props that Prospects has available. Like I said earlier, Prospects is offering a ton of other stuff um, outside of just you know your normal MLB props. They're adding you know pitches thrown. They have more stuff that they'll add as we get closer to the start of the games Tuesday night. Um, really, you know, Prospects really up in their game. So I'd recommend you guys check them out. Sign up, use code NOAA, and they will match your first deposit up to $100. But that's all that I got for tonight, guys. I wish you the best of luck. Um, hope you guys enjoy, uh, enjoyed this video, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.